just to convince you that it works, um, consider the Rx divided by Qx, where Rx is uh, uh, of degree 3 and Qx is of degree 4 and has two irreducible quadratic factors, x squared plus 1 and x squared plus 2. So we try to find four constants, a, b, c, and d, such that ax plus b divided by x squared plus 1 plus cx plus d divided by x squared plus 2 equals the original rational function rx divided by qx. So again we work back and if we do so we will find that x to the power of 3 plus x squared plus 2x plus 1 should be equal to ax times x squared plus 2 plus b times x squared plus 2 yeah, this is just to make sure that ax plus b divided by x squared plus 1, if we multiply the numerator and denominator by x squared plus 2, we get this expression. And the same can be done for the second one. So we get c time, cx times x squared plus 1 plus d times x squared plus 1. And uh, these things should be equal. So we're just going to count the number of x to the power 3 on the left hand side and the right hand side, this should agree. Yeah, otherwise we cannot have um, equivalent po polynomials, polynomials which are an, form an identity on the left and the right hand side. So we get a plus c times x to the power 3 plus b plus d times x squared plus 2a plus c times x and finally as a constant we get 2b plus d. Yeah, check it yourself, that is, this is actually correct. So now we get our, again, a system of linear equations since um, a plus c should be equal to 1. Yeah, So a plus c times x to the power 3 should be equal to x to the power 3. So we get a plus c equals 1. The number of, f of x squares is 1, so b plus d equals 1. And the number of linear terms, 2 times x should be equal to 2a plus c times x. So 2a plus c equals 2. And 2 times b plus d is a constant, which should therefore be equal to 1. There's only constant 1 on the left-hand side. Well, this is a very easy system for which we find the solution b equals 0, d equals 1, a equals 1, and c equals 0. So we may write the rational function differently as the sum of two rational functions of which the numerator is a linear term and the denominator is uh, one of the irreducible quadratic terms. So you may write this differently as the integral of x divided by x squared plus 1 plus the integral over 1 divided by x squared plus 2. And uh, if you work on this, then you will see that this equals a half times the natural logarithm of x squared plus 1, which is a primitive of the first term and the right hand right hand side, so the second term has as a primitive 1 over the square root of 2 times the arctangent of x divided by the square root of 2. And since we are concerned with the indefinite integrals, we have to add the integration constant.